In steps Ford Motor Company and a $1 billion investment into self-driving cars. The company was backing Argo AI. Everybody thought that autonomous vehicles, especially robo-taxis, was right around the corner. At its height, the startup was reportedly valued at $12.4 billion. Reality struck them on both cheeks. Robo-taxis are not just around the corner. After, ultimately, Argo AI failed. Who gets excited about a technology that's going to revolutionize a market or revolutionize an industry? The old players get scared. In mobility, there was a lot of talk that Tesla was going to, well, own the world. That Ford and Volkswagen and GM and Toyota were the dinosaurs. When Tesla's stock soared to all-time highs in 2017, it pushed its market cap past Ford's for the first time. That happened despite Ford having sold nearly 10 times as many cars as Tesla in 2016. A huge price, which is what usually happens when you are afraid of missing out on something. But the consequences of being perceived as being left behind was just battering the stock price of Volkswagen and Ford. And in fact, made the price that they paid for Argo look reasonable compared to the battering their stock was taking. The joint venture had big plans. Through a partnership with Lyft, it was announced that Argo AI would put self-driving taxis on the road by the end of 2021. The company's value reportedly ballooned to $12.4 billion. But less than a year later, in October 2022, the startup was shut down. It's October 2022. Multi-billion dollar company Argo AI, once thought to be one of the leaders in the race towards self-driving cars, suddenly shuts down. But to understand why, we need to rewind the clock. In the world of autonomous vehicles, big bets were made by big players. In steps Ford Motor Company and a $1 billion investment into self-driving cars. The company was backing Argo AI. Everybody thought that autonomous vehicles, especially robo-taxis, was right around the corner. Two years later, Volkswagen joined Ford in the venture. At its height, the startup was reportedly valued at $12.4 billion. Argo AI had more than 2,000 employees, was testing vehicles in seven cities, and had offices around the world. And then... Reality struck them on both cheeks. Robo-taxis are not just around the corner. After a rush of enthusiasm, self-driving projects have been besieged by the challenges of developing both the technology and a business model to run alongside it. Ultimately, Argo AI failed. Argo AI was founded by Brian Seleski and Pete Rander. Both had big ambitions and years of experience in the field. Argo AI's plan was to bring fully self-driving cars to market. At the time, legacy automakers like Ford were facing criticism for being behind on electrification and autonomy. It's a common technology story. The world gets excited about a technology that's going to revolutionize a market or revolutionize an industry. The old players get scared. In mobility, there was a lot of talk that Tesla was going to, well, own the world. That Ford and Volkswagen and GM and Toyota were the dinosaurs. When Tesla's stock soared to all-time highs in 2017, it pushed its market cap past Ford's for the first time. That happened despite Ford having sold nearly 10 times as many cars as Tesla in 2016. Companies were plunging into self-driving car research and development. Through a partnership with Carnegie Mellon in 2015, Uber started its self-driving research. GM bought autonomous driving startup Cruise in 2016. Google executed its first fully autonomous drive in 2015 and a year later turned the self-driving car project into an independent company named Waymo. In 2016, Tesla began producing cars the company said were fitted with all the hardware necessary for full self-driving. Rumors were spreading that Apple was working on an electric car project as well, possibly with self-driving capabilities. In 2017, Ford Motor Company announced a five-year, $1 billion investment in Argo AI. Shortly thereafter, they replaced Mark Fields, the CEO who had facilitated the deal. Jim Hackett, a former university athletic director and furniture executive, who at the time was running Ford Smart Mobility, took over. 
In 2019, VW Group, the second largest automaker in the world, joined Ford by investing $2.6 billion into the project, $1 billion in cash, and the remainder with its self-driving research unit. Argo AI was valued at more than $7 billion. And they paid a huge price, which is what usually happens when you are afraid of missing out on something. But the consequences of being perceived as being left behind was just battering the stock price of Volkswagen and Ford. And in fact, made the price that they paid for Argo look reasonable compared to the battering their stock was taking. The joint venture had big plans. Through a partnership with Lyft, it was announced that Argo AI would put self-driving taxis on the road by the end of 2021. The company's value reportedly ballooned to $12.4 billion. But less than a year later, in October 2022, the startup was shut down. When Ford reported its third quarter 2022 results, it said, It's estimated that more than $100 billion has been invested in the promise of level four autonomy. And yet no one has defined a profitable business model at scale. Based on the change in this outlook, we've decided to wind down the Argo business. Level 4 Autonomy, what Ford was abandoning when it shut down Argo AI, is a vehicle that can drive itself in nearly all conditions. Level 2 is what a lot of active safety features fit under. Like a car that can automatically keep itself in a lane, or adjust its speed to maintain distance from a car in front. Many automakers have these systems either standard or as options. Level 3, on the other hand, entails a car that can drive itself under some circumstances, but requires a driver to be able to take over if needed. Pulling out of the venture cost the automaker $2.7 billion, resulting in an $827 million net loss for the quarter. And as for the future of true L4 autonomy, we don't expect there to be a sudden aha moment like we used to. The core technology was solid. The system that they were developing was really strong, really robust. That's not why Argo failed. It wasn't the technology. It was the business side of it that was the challenge. Many of these challenges are not unique to Argo AI. By the time 2022 rolled around, a lot of the hype that had been swirling in 2017 seems to have evaporated. When level four was a hot idea in 2017, you could easily get companies to come in and invest. But once we started seeing there was obstacles in the technology, that money kind of dried up. And there were also a lot of high profile sales of autonomous companies, fleet type companies to larger companies that bought them because they were unable to get financing. A couple of examples. In early 2020, Uber executives were saying that Uber's self-driving car business was key to bringing the company to profitability. By December of that same year, Uber sold its autonomous driving unit to Aurora. In 2021, Lyft sold its autonomous driving unit to Toyota. In the case of, of Ford and VW with Argo, they were also uh, looking for partners to try to invest. And it's been difficult. When you're dealing with an industry at its infancy, you need partners to come in and invest. It's a lot easier to do that than to use the capital of your own car maker yourself. While money was drying up, Argo AI's backers began to demand more of the team. Initially, Ford had planned to launch its own mobility service that would build a robo-taxi business using Argo AI's technology. But that didn't happen. Instead, that was handed off to Argo AI itself. So in addition to being the group creating the tech, Argo also had to build the service. An IPO was planned to raise money. A lot of the companies that did go public in 2020, 2021, mostly through SPACs, uh, but some through traditional IPOs, their prices, their valuations were in the tank. That option evaporated. Then it was reported that Amazon was interested in some kind of investment or partnership. But for a variety of reasons, between Amazon and Ford and Volkswagen, um, they could not come to an amicable deal. Both Ford and VW have to balance their autonomous tech ambitions against another massive project that is more or less essential if they want to keep selling cars electrification. Ford has committed $50 billion to electrification, while VW Group has committed more than three times that much. What do we have to do versus what do we want to do? 
they wanted to do the automated driving stuff, but they have to do the electrification to meet regulatory requirements and also to meet customer demand. 